Hey guys, so it's Thursday, August 6th, and I am cycle day 40. So AF still hasn't shown, and I did, um, I was testing for a while um, every other day, and I wasn't getting anything, and I knew that the timing of when I was getting my positive OPKs and the timing of when we were baby dancing, it kind of got to the point to where it was like impossible for me to be pregnant. And uh, and then most of you know that I had my progesterone taken on cycle day 22 or 23 and it showed negative for ovulation. Um, I know that sometimes those aren't completely accurate when you don't have a regular cycle, but I thought I was having regular cycles until this cycle. Obviously because I'm cycle day 40. I'm just super curious if that's what's gonna happen is that at some point I'm gonna ovulate and not know about it and then I'll just get my period out of nowhere. Um, I've been trying to just kind of relax and uh, you know enjoy um, my weight loss and my weight loss journey and not that I was relieved that I wasn't pregnant but because I had just started my weight loss journey and I'm doing this so that I can get my BFP and so that I can um, be healthy when I do get pregnant. I felt like if I would have got pregnant right away, like the first month I started losing weight, that I would just go off of it and gain all the weight back and, um, you know, be pregnant for nine months and gain God knows how much weight and then, you know, have the baby and who knows if I would be motivated, you know, nine, ten months from now to... Uh, jump back on keto and lose weight so it kind of gave me an opportunity by not being pregnant to spend some more time on getting healthy and um, feeling better and so um, I wasn't extremely disappointed that you know I got negative tests I was disappointed that the blood test showed I didn't ovulate about two days ago I started having um, my typical ovulation type symptoms I've been Real, not crampy, not like period cramp, but just kind of like an aching, like a deep kind of rumbling, achy feeling um, in my uter uterus area. And then my cervix has kind of dropped low and it's super firm. And I have tons of um, EWCM and watery CM, just like I do the week that I ovulate. And so I, I was super curious as to if maybe I'm ovulating because I'm showing, you know, my typical symptoms, and that, oh, excuse me, and then, um, yesterday, my boobs started getting tender, but not in the kind of way, usually when AF is about to show, I get tender breasts, so I've never been able to use that as a, um, maybe I'm pregnant symptom, because I get tender breasts around ovulation, I get tender breasts around AF, and, but this was like, this is like a burning, like almost like a pin like prickling kind of needleish kind of burning I don't know how I'm trying to say but it's not like an ache or a tender it's almost like like pin pricks like throughout my boobs and just very weird I've never felt that sensation before so I am at I just got out of Dollar Tree and I picked up um I picked up pregnancy tests and I pick up the OPKs um, because I kind of thought, well, I don't know if I'm possibly ovulating, um, into like the, the next cycle and I'm, you know, going to be ovulating or I've already ovulated or if I might be pregnant. So when I asked this, this Dollar Tree makes you ask for the test at the register and this is the one that they gave me. It's the Vera Quick and it says compared to EPT, which does not make me very happy because I know EPT tests are pretty crappy <laughs> it's still a pink dye and they got the new choice ovulation predictor so I'm gonna go home right now and I've been holding um, my urine for probably like four or five hours now and I'm gonna take both the tests live on the camera for you guys
So I set a timer for three minutes for both tests and I'll just show you what I got. This is the ovulation test and there's barely, barely even a faint line. I mean, probably the closest to negative I've ever gotten on a OPK and even the control line is really faint. So I'm not ovulating, I'm not close to ovulating and I can kind of guess that I haven't ovulated recently. And then the pregnancy test, negative as well. So, nothing. Wasn't trying to like trick anybody or get anybody's hopes up. I just, having the weird boob pain made me really suspicious. So, I thought if I did take the test, um, I want to do it live for you guys just in case maybe I was ovulating or maybe I was pregnant, but not the case. And um, I also was due for a TTC update for you guys. Um, as far as what I'm going to do now, um, I've been going back and forth. I've been debating um, should I call my doctor's office and see if they'll give me Provera. Should I just keep waiting it out? I'm not sure because the last instructions that they gave me was um, cycle day one to give them a call and they would set me up to test my progesterone levels again on days 21 and like 23 or something. And um, I said, okay. And then AF never showed and I'm not pregnant and she still hasn't showed. So I'm, I don't know what to do because I, before when my cycles were irregular and I would go months with either having a period months straight or I would go months without a period, um, they kept trying the Provera and it, my body just did not respond very well to it. Um, you know, I was bleeding pretty heavily and they gave it to me, said take it a week and then stop and I would do that and nothing would stop. And they'd say, okay, we'll take it for two weeks and then stop and then nothing would happen. And then, um, I ended up having to get like a DNC and then um, my period would never come back and then they put me on Provera for a week and it didn't work and they put me on for 10 days and didn't work. I ended up, the only time they could ever get the Provera to work is if I took it for 30 days straight. So Provera every day for 30 days, stop, and then about a week later I would get my period. And almost every time I did that, I would get my period and my period wouldn't stop unless I took Pereira again to make it stop. I'm glad that my body um, hasn't been doing that for the past year and a half or so, but I'm afraid that the only way that I'm going to get a cycle again is if I have to take medication for it. And I don't want to go through all that all over again, so I just keep hoping every day that you know when I go to the bathroom that she's going to be here and she's not. So I don't know what is a good point to give up and call the doctor or you know how far how long I should wait but right now that's what I'm debating I haven't made up my mind um, I'll let you guys know when I do um, and so it's either gonna be a phone call or I'm just gonna keep focusing on getting healthy and focusing on losing weight and maybe once my weight loss kind of steadies out and I'm losing like a pound or two a week instead of losing a lot of weight maybe my body can get back into a healthy cycle. And maybe in a few weeks um, I'll be back on track. I don't know. But um, like I said, you guys will be the first to know um, what my decision is. If I'm going to do the Provera or maybe he has another option. Maybe there's another medication that I don't know about um, or even maybe some birth control. But I don't know. It's frustrating. But thank you so much for watching. And um, if you have had a similar experience with weight loss or um, have taken any other type of medication besides Provera to induce your period, please let me know about it down below in the comments.